The greatest thing about the sport of boxing is Chris T-Slip Congo is in the game. That's the greatest thing and I love this game. My name's Chris T-Slip Congo. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Birmingham. Growing up in Birmingham, it was okay. Um, I would say I was more into like where my house is, is it's like set up of Birmingham and Old Kent Road. So I was more into the Old Kent Road side of things because um, my school, my school was my school was in Birmingham, but the people that um, I was hanging around with at the time were from Old Kent Road. So I see myself the majority of the time in Old Kent Road. Um, but yeah, growing up was okay. The same, same, same as usual, like you get the old gangs here and there. I was into it a bit, but not too deep into it because boxing basically took over my life. Um, I was winning national titles from the age of 13, 14 to onwards. So the sport has basically been in my life for, the, for my, whole, my, whole, my whole career, basically. I got into boxing um, at the age of about eight, I'll say. Uh, my brothers started before me, Elvis and Obed, who basically led the way for me. So growing up at, at, at that age, I saw them uh, doing their thing, winning, winning fights and whatnot, and then I just got into it all of a sudden. What keeps me motivated, I would say, when you're watching the best fighters out there doing their thing, you wanna, you wanna be in their position. If someone said to you, oh, you can be in Floyd's position right now by doing this, you wouldn't. So I will say that, of course, motivates me. And also, just the, the fact that where I've come from growing up, young and just around a lot of violence and all that is also motivating me to do better things, not leading to the path of crime or just to, the, to a person not doing nothing. So that's what motivates me and like I'm gonna come from nothing to something and make something happen. Uh, when I turned pro, it was a great feeling. It was a great feeling. Um, I'd been working for about a year, year or so, just in the gym. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't working on retail or anything. My grind was the gym, so I'd put my heart and soul into it, and the results benefited come my debut. So it was, it was great. Um, being on Chris Eubanks' undercard. One of the first ITV pay-per-view fights. I mean, it's a blessing in disguise, man. Um, I'd work hard for to get to the, a position like this. I'd been working for over a year, not doing nothing, just grinding in the gym, and um, it's all paid off now. So now's the time to go and show the people watching who I am, let them know who who, who I am, and just showcase my skills, really. I would say the defining moment that changed me as a person, I would say that the, the point where in the amateur stages going to the senior stages was a, was a different situation because you're facing men now, you're facing guys that can hit, and uh, it's all about if I wanted it or not. So I had a time where I boxed against um, I boxed against the army and the guy literally just beat me up. He literally beat me up for the whole three rounds. It was my first three threes. And that introduced me into the game properly, into the boxing game properly. And uh, I said, this is, this is the time now. And um, it's either I quit now or I just keep on working. 
And from then, I worked, I kept working. I fought him again twice, and I beat him up twice. So, yeah, man, I'll say that they changed me in, in this game. It made me know, it let me know that this game ain't no joke. Um, I can say boxing's changed my life a lot. It's um, taught me discipline. It's taught me, obviously, um, it's, taught, it's taught me to stay away from certain people and certain things. Like, especially where I grew up as well, it's taught me there's, there's two roads. There's a road to success and the road to failure. And it's taught me the road to success is key. So, yeah, my boss has taught me a lot. The most important tool in boxing is the jab, because everything comes off the jab. The jab sets you up, the jab can get you out of trouble at times, and uh, it can control the whole fight. So you can win a fight with just the jab, so the jab is the main key in boxing. The statements I'm looking to give on my next fight is just show them I'm one of the best welterweights in, in Britain. I'm, I'm just going to make sure, let, let everyone know in the welterweight division that Chris T. Slip Congo is definitely the number one to look out for. This is it. All, all the hard work has been done, everything's been done, and this is where you've got to prove that you're the better man.